A former teaching assistant in the Charleston County School District is suing her former employer after she was fired. That's right. She claims that the district fired her after she reported abuse in the classroom. We want to bring in Live Five's Michael Higdon. Michael, this all stems from a police report that was filed several months ago. Yeah, and Ralph, we first reported accusations of abuse uh, from the Drayton Hall Elementary special education teacher Karen Moore back in May. Teaching assistant Amanda Gillespie filed that report on May 13th, claiming Moore yelled at students, physically hit them, and grabbed a student by the back of the shirt and then threw them down. Well, well, now Gillespie is claiming that she was fired for coming forward. Gillespie claims in a lawsuit filed yesterday that she first reported concerns about mistreatment of students to Drayton Hall's principal in September of last year. She says she was removed from working with Moore, but later was put back in her classroom after other aides quit. The suit mentions the police report filed in May of this year and says Gillespie refused to go back into the classroom. She claims the district sent her a letter saying she would be relocated for this current school year, citing, quote, personality differences. The suit states that the Gillespie met with district officials and continued to work throughout the summer, but was not paid. She says in the suit that she received a call near the end of this past June, that her last day with the district was June 11th, and she was terminated as of that date. Gillespie claims in the suit that the reasons given for the termination and owed wages were, quote, a mere pretext for the plaintiff's reports of abuse to ch the children in Miss Moore's classroom. The school district says they have not been served with the lawsuit, but confirms Moore is no longer employed by the district. Lawyers representing Gillespie say that they hate to see things like this happen to the most vulnerable population. Well, Charleston police say the criminal case is now labeled as pending and active, meaning there was not currently enough evidence to file any official charges against Moore, but the case could be actively investigated again if there was new evidence or information. There are also several outstanding lawsuits filed by parents of children that were in Moore's classroom alleging abuse. In studio, I'm Michael Higdon.